having a fantastic day. Today is October 16th. I am in far west Texas, all the way on the Rio Grande River. I am all dad sheep hunting. This is my third try for all dad sheep. I did, I hunted a property not too far from here, a lot smaller property than this one, like four years ago, something like that. And then I hunted in New Mexico, the over the counter tag, which was super tough tag. Um, a couple years ago and now I'm doing this hunt so hopefully I can find one um, I got here last night about 11 o'clock I would have gotten here earlier but I shredded a tire on my little camper and that caused some problems so I went ahead and got some new tires and that took a while I had to back trap 45 minutes and it was a whole ordeal so got here about 11 o'clock last night I was exhausted went to sleep got up uh, the cool thing about West Texas is the time zone is like as far as you can go uh, without being in mountain time, I guess it is. So, um, the sun doesn't come up until like seven thirty, eight o'clock. So I was able to sleep until about six and still get up here where I wanted to be. So you can see there's some, some bigger ridges around and, um, I didn't want to, I didn't want to just go blowing through the country I hadn't seen before that, uh, this is like a 12,000 acre property. And the property manager told me that, uh, told me some areas that all that have been seen and killed in the past, some good areas. So I didn't want to just blow up onto this ridge without being able to see. So I got up on this little point right as the sun came up. I've been glassing for probably 15, 20 minutes. I'm going to move about 150 yards up onto this ridge. I'm going to glass all these canyons and I'm going to keep moving and keep glassing. There's a ton of country to look at and the all dad uh, are rutting. So if I find a group of ewes, there should be a ram with it in theory and, and probably bigger groups too. So I'm not like looking necessarily for one sheep. I mean, that might be what you see, but hopefully that'll lead to a bigger group of sheep and there'll be a ram in there. So I'm going to keep moving up the ridge. Um, let's see what happens. I know some good sheep have been killed here before. So uh, all I can do is hope to get on one and I have five days to hunt and then it's off to New Mexico to elk hunt. So hopefully in five days, hopefully quicker than that, hopefully in a couple of days I can find one, but I'm gonna hunt as hard as I can, cover ground, uh, do a lot of glassing and uh, see if I can bump into a ram. Look at that guy. That's pretty cool. Walking, walking stick. I don't see many of those, probably because they're so well camouflaged, but that's pretty neat. So I made it up on this point to glass. I haven't seen anything yet. Well, over on that ridge over there, there are some horses. I don't know if they're wild horses or if they're, you know, just loose. They got them feeding horses. There's an old fence somewhere over there, but I don't know. So I'm gonna glass for a while up here and see if I can find something. I just found a ram, a big ram, but he was kind of, or he is cruising. He's a good ways off, so I'm going to try to see if I can cover some ground, find him. Big ram. So that ram, when I saw him, he was walking right across there. So I'm thinking he should be somewhere out here. Um, he, was, he was walking pretty good, but that rock right there was my my mark where I saw him and now it's at 950 yards and I covered it pretty quick so I'm thinking he's probably probably down in that thick stuff somewhere I just gotta find him I didn't see him yet I decided I'd come out a little farther and get up on this knob try to glass he's gotta be still somewhere down in that area Guys, I can't find him. It's been probably 45 minutes since I saw him. He, I saw him behind, walking across behind that knob right there. In the middle of the screen, right there. And he was walking right to left, and he was walking with a pretty good speed, but you can see how big that open area is, and I was like, he's gonna have to cross that whole thing. Now, I can't, I can't hunt out there. That's not part of the property I'm on, but basically like all these 
anywhere in here. Like I can hunt any of that. And then most of the properties back behind me, you know, back that way. But, uh, you know, I figured he was gonna come across here. And if he went up through there, my truck is actually parked back over there. I'd be able to pick him up somewhere through there. And I mean, maybe I still will. I, I might as well sit for a while. I mean, I, I don't have anything else to do. I came to hunt, so. He could have, I guess, stopped and bedded out there. If he cut that way, I can't hunt out there. So that over there is Mexico. Just so you, you guys understand, like that's the, that water right there. That's the Rio Grande. So all that over there is Mexico. But uh, if he would have continued on the line he was on, he would have gone up through this gap here or up into those hills. Um, if he went on the other side of those hills and kept walking up, that would be where I couldn't see him. So maybe that's where he went. It's just frustrating. My gosh, he was huge. I mean, he was a stud ram. The crazy thing is right in here somewhere, actually might have been right there, is where the first place I glassed this morning. Um, so I'd have seen him, but, you know, there's no way of knowing where you're going to find him. So it'd be... Hindsight's 2020. You can't think like that. Well, that's the wrong kind of sheep. I did not know there were big horns in here. But that is 100% a big horn ewe. No rams. But a group of big horn ewes and lambs. That one looks pretty small. Pretty neat. Sheep are cool. Now we just gotta find an all dad ram or maybe see if that big one will come back out. I keep hearing some rocks over here fall last time I hunted all dad and when I was hunting mountain goats when I heard rocks falling a lot of times that meant there were sheep or goats or something so I'm gonna sneak over here and look I'm hearing the rocks right over here so I'm gonna see what I can find it's got to be something. I mean, the rocks don't just fall on their own. It's not that steep here. Guys, there's some odd dad over here. There were two standing up on top. One might have been a small ram. But all along these little shadows, there's odd dad bedded. There's like 15 of them, I think. <clears throat> I'm not gonna be able to film because I gotta shoot off the tripod. I got him. Oh, there go the rest of them.
got him. I rolled him. I know I didn't get any footage. That sucks. When you're making videos, you don't get any footage. But I, I heard some rocks falling over here. And I came over and I peeked over and I saw two Audads standing on top of this little lip right here. I'll show you. So there were two Audads standing right on top of that little lip. And there was a little one. And then there was one that was definitely its mama. And then there was another one. And um, the other one looked like it might have been a ram. But if it was, it wasn't very big. So I just decided I was going to pass on it. And so I moved over a little more and started glassing. And up under all these little shadows, almost all of them had all that bedding in there. And there were two that I felt like were rams. And I had to get set up. And there, there was one right there and one right there and the one on the right was 300 or 303 and the one on the left was 272 and the more i looked at the more one on the left and how it moved it just it either i think it was just a smaller ram so the one on the right stood up finally and i didn't want to take a chance so those two that were on the lip they stood there for a little while and then they just went over and i was like man if these things happen to see me they're probably just going to go over the top and I was afraid if I put my spot or my, my camera up there to film that I wouldn't be able to get the gun up in time to shoot if they stood up because you can see all this stuff and I'm kind of on a side hill. It's hard to see. So I couldn't lay down. If I laid down, I wasn't going to be have a line of sight to shoot. So I, I was like, well, I just I'm going to have to just put the gun on them and not film. So I got to walk over there. Uh, I should be able to just go kind of. I might be able to go around over here and then down. And my truck is not very far down. It's actually right down that way. So I saw him when I shot. He stumbled a couple st times, stopped right there, and that's when I got back on him. And then he rolled, went down. So it's one o'clock, middle of the day. If those, if they hadn't met, if if they hadn't kicked some rocks, I, I wouldn't have even known they were there. But they gave himself away, and I was able to get on him. I'm I'm jacked. So like I said, this is my third try for all dad. Finally made it happen. I really wanted to kill one DIY. I, I don't have a problem with doing guided stuff when you have to, like when DIY is not an option, but you can kill all dad DIY if you can get access to some property. So I got access and I, I got it done. I'm happy that all dad was another one that was pretty high on my list. And, uh, the, my goal for this season has been to have a perfect season quote unquote, fill all my tags. And I almost did it last year, was really close to doing it last year. Um, but I'm on track this year, which it's not all about killing tag, killing animals, but I sure hate eating tags, man. I hate it. So let's go check them out. It's hot out here, guys. Last time I came, I didn't bring anything like this to cover my face and I got absolutely cooked. Actually, I shouldn't say it like that. It's not that hot. The sun is just, the sun beats on you. I mean, from South, I'm from South Carolina. I'm used to the hot, like, but that sun is, I don't know, it's strong, really strong. So, uh, it's not really that hot. It's supposed to be in the mid seventies today. And then starting tomorrow, it's supposed to cool down, but crazy hot. They said there had been some increased traffic from illegals coming across the border. I'm guessing that's from them. Like I said, Mexico is just right over there. It's a little steeper over here. That's why I was hearing the rocks fall. It was bedded right, bedded right there. I shot from right across. Right over there. And there it is. He's not a world record by any means, but he's got a pretty, pretty chap. I hit him a little forward. It looks like he was quartering to me though. Oh, actually that's the exit. He was quarter away, so I hit him good. Right. <laughs> Look at that. That's cool, man. <laughs> Pretty awesome. Have to set it up and get some pictures. Well, check him out, guys. Uh -oh. <laughs> Pretty 
Pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool. Finally got my ram. Been a long time coming. Hunted hard for this thing, so. Third trip, third DIY trip. One to Texas, one in New Mexico. Finally got it done. Made a perfect shot. He's got a split in his ear on this side. Pretty, pretty cool deal. There's a view from the back. Now that I see this one, I'm pretty confident the other one I saw was a, in here was a ram too. They were just so much wider and significantly heavier, but they were ewes that were different size, but sizes, but these two that were rams were significantly larger. So pretty sweet. guys I'm headed out up to New Mexico now to elk hunt it was a good hunt I think I saw I was counting up I think I saw like 18 or 19 all dead and then four bighorn ewes um, it was a really cool hunt if I had not heard those rocks falling uh, they kind of gave away their location and then I was able to or those few that got up gave away their location and then I was able to uh, glass up all of them bedded and once I found them, it was just a matter of sitting and waiting. That big one I killed um, was 303 yards, sitting off the tripod, felt really steady, hit him perfect. So uh, it's not a giant, but it's a really nice all that, and I'm really happy with it. So check another one off the list, and now we head up to New Mexico and see if I can get on a big bull. Should be a fun hunt, looking forward to it, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.